Hi, today we're going to talk about how to format an APA paper in Word. So the first thing, of course, you want to do is open a blank document. Now you can, of course, use the APA template, but there are a number of things that kind of get in the way with this. So sometimes I feel it's really better to start from scratch. Um, first of all, we want to make sure that um, we put in our header. And so to put in our header, we can get there two ways. Either double click in the space at the top, and of course, if you can't see that space, you may be on the um, draft layout. So you just want to print on, click on print layout in view. Um, so you can either click, click up here until you can see the header line, or else, of course, you can click on insert and click on header. Now, when you do this, it says type text here. Of course, type something there. I have had many papers turned in with just that there. Um, in APA, before we do this, though, I'm just going to delete that. We want to say, and this is under the design tab, different first page, because APA has a different um, header on this page than it does the others. So we're going to start by typing in running head. Um, and I'm making sure it's not head, not header, running head, and then a colon, and then your title. And your title in both of your headers, and this is the only place it will be this, is in all caps. So, spiffy title. A look at, oh, titles through the ages. Now, what um, APA tells us is that we should only have up to 50 characters here. So I'm going to highlight this. And when I highlight this, down here you notice it says nine words. I can click on that, and it will tell me how many characters. I have 39. If you have um, more than 50, of course, you know, don't just stop at 50, though. If, say, say ages was past 50, say 50 was AG. Well, I'm not going to just put um, a look at titles through the AG. I'm just going to delete that, a look at titles. Um, I might just shorten it down to that. So something that kind of has a nice flow and a nice sound. So we've typed in running head, our title, or part of it. Um, and then we're going to insert the page number. So we're going to click on page number here and put current position and select plain page number. This needs to be on the right hand side. To get it to do that, I'm simply going to tab if I go too far. It's going to like disappear or wrap around to the next one. I want to make sure that actually what I like to do is tab and then make sure that it's right even with the ruler here. And if you can't see your ruler, click on view and make sure that you have ruler check marked. Now the last thing I need to do is check my font and my font size. Arr! Growl like a pirate. Um, so I'm going to go home and I'm going to make sure this is in times. New Roman, because that's what APA wants, and 12-point font. So double-check those things, too. Remember, everything in your paper should be Times New Roman and that 12-point font. And if you want to, if you just do um, papers for school, then you might want to go ahead and... Um, Come on, move down. Um, click on, when you open the font dialog, click on Set as Default. It gives you the option to do that for this document only or all documents based on the normal template. It's a good idea to check that and say OK if that's all you're really using Word for because in that way you won't have to change um, your font in the future. So, All right, so once we're done with that, then we can click on this. And that was our first page header. I'm going to press Control Enter. You can also click on Insert and um, page break and get a new page. And notice we don't have a header here. So I'm going to go, actually I'm going to be lazy, and I'm going to go back up here and I'm just going to copy this. Just this, not running head. That's the only difference is the other um, up here. It just has that um, title, plain number. And again, I will just tab to scoot over. I'm going to double check, make sure everything's in Times New Roman 12, and then I'm good to go with my headers. That's all I need there. Now, in terms of um, what goes on this first page, our title page, there are a number of things we need to get on there. So our title page has, of course, that running header, but it also has information here in the center, and this is the title of the paper, your name, 
the college, university, or school you attend. And then down at the bottom there is an author note, and it simply says this paper was prepared for, and you put your course, and if you have a section number there, taught by professor and your professor's name. So we want to get those in. Let me make this a little bit smaller so we can take a look at that. Um, we want, of course, Times New Roman, and one of the things I'm going to do right now is select Control A, and that highlights everything. So that way everything in my document will be Times New Roman and 12. Don't go 12.1, don't go 12.2, don't pull in your margins, any of those things to make your paper longer. Remember, if you're writing a paper for someone, one, not only have they written papers and generally know all those tricks, but they've read a lot of them. And the thing that does is your format is your first impression. It tells a reader how to think about you, whether they're on your side or they're thinking, what the heck. Um, so if you do that kind of thing, it's basically saying, you're so dumb you won't get this, and you really don't want to insult your reader from the start. So do these things correctly, and they do get your reader on your side from the beginning, and that's what you want. So Times New Roman 12, I'm going to type um, my title. Here, I'm just going to paste it, and it is not. Remember, the only place it's going to be in all caps is in our running header. So I'm going to click on here on the large A, little a, and this will tell me capitalize each word and then you notice that Google actually did point out that at um, and then here through T and V oh should just be not caps lowercase sorry I had caps lock on there um, through the ages we only capitalize the a and if they're at the very first so I'm gonna have that oh the other thing I'm gonna select control all again control a and I'm gonna make sure I've double spaced I'm going to go ahead and click on my paragraph call out because one of the things that happens, it doesn't show up here because I have mine set, but your spacing will very likely be auto um, before and after. And if you notice, whenever I check this box out here, when I change this back to zero, how it changes that spacing before and after, we want to make sure it's zero, zero and don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. So make sure that you um, do that so that your paragraph spacing will also be correct. Um, so I've got that double space. I've fixed my paragraph spacing, so when I return, it's going to be exactly double. Title, your name. Type in your name, the college or school you attend. And that's all we're going to need in this center part. Now, on the sample, you can see this is approximately in the center. All we're going to do is enter to move it down. I have never heard of a professor or teacher who is um, picky about it being exactly in the middle. If you do have someone who is rather picky about those things, they will let you know. And if that shows up in, and I'm going to center this, if that shows up in your instructions or in your professor's lecture, then make sure to attend to that because um, they're saying this is what I want. Author, note, and then this paper was prepared for English 1301. Of course, put your course in. CRN at EPCC instead of section numbers, we do CRNs, um, comma, taught by Professor Wood. Um, and so what I'm doing is I just left that there and I'm going to scoot it down. Oh, nope, not there once it goes over. I know that it's right down at the bottom and so then it'll look like this. Now that takes care of our first page. So this is what our first page should look like and you should be able to look at APA samples and say, does mine look like this? This should be one of the final steps in proofreading your paper is doing the visual proofread and take time for it. So does it look the same? Yes, it does. So now we have our second page here. Now the second page will very often be an abstract um, and it's just titled abstract and that of course is centered. So we're going to center that. And then your abstract is simply a paragraph. There's no indention here that is um, just a summary of your essay. And it is going to be very straightforward. It is going to start with this paper discusses, explains, reviews, looks at, 
um, considers whatever it is you're talking about in your paper. So you want to start with what is your main topic, um, what, what are the basic points you make, make sure and have those in there, um, what are the basic points you make, what are your kind of key, what in the end, what's your, your, um, your stand, what's your position on it, or your take overall. And so this should be about 100 to 100, uh, 150 to 200 words, something in that ballpark. But it is something you'll write after your paper's done. So if you're required to have an abstract, simply press after you finish your title, control enter, type abstract, and then you'll move on, write your paper, and come back and fill this in. Um, the other thing that goes on the abstract page, and this is going to be um, in italics, and we are going to tab here, oops, um, keywords, and a colon, not in italics, and then you type in your keywords. So if you were doing a media analysis, let's get it right down there, you type in media analysis, um, advertising, I can never spell that right, spell check. Um, perhaps we were looking at a Crest commercial and considering how they look at um, family roles. Whatever it is, whatever kind of the main kind of key topics are in your paper, you want to write those out there. But again, this is something you would probably do after you're, or definitely do after you're done with your paper. So you can press Control Enter, type in Abstract, and then just press Control Enter again. And now we're at the first. Um, the first of our um, paper, so the first page of our actual paper. So again, I'm being lazy, and I'm going to paste that in, and I'm going to go back and change my title case, fix this one, and fix that one, fix that one. Thank you very much. If you have a longer title and subtitle, you can um, return and do it over two lines. When it's very short like these, it's generally best to keep it at the top. Now I'm going to enter once. Notice there's no extra space above here or below here. Over at the left, of course, I would tab, and I would, uh oh I would start my paper. Let me get some paper. This, is, this looks like a dandy paper. My daddy loved the word dandy. Uh, so I could write my paper. Now, one of the things I also do is I also, actually when I put that title in, I also go down and press Control Enter and References. Because if you're using sources, you want to make sure to um, cite them correctly. And so if I have my References page all ready to go, I've typed that in, left aligned this, then as I'm going through and writing my paper, for the sake of argument, let's say that um, this is a quote, and here we'll put a K here, like it's a person, and if we give a person's name an APA, boom, we put in that date, author date, um, and then at the end we would have our location, so we found this on page um, two, three, four, five, and period at the end of that. So we have a source that we've used. We've put in author, date, and location. Remember at the end, we still need to cite that source um, in our references. Of course, we're not copying the sentence, but we're going to go to, what I do is I go to my um, style guide to the APA, um, APA book, to an APA page, a reliable one. Remember, there are a lot of citation generators out there, and you can use them it's just like using templates for doing this. In the end, they're not getting the grade you are, so you know, need to know how to double check and make sure this is right. So if you do use a citation generator, if you do use um, the um, references tool for, um, whoops, I'm sorry, for um, APA that's in Word, you can use those. There's one in Google Docs. But again, it's your grade, cite your sources, make sure it's in the proper font, size, color, all of those things. So once you've cited your source, whenever I use a source, I'll go along, I'll write my paper, I use a source. If I've already pressed Control Enter and put in this page, I can just go down here, do the citation for it. The last thing I need to do is, whenever I do that, I need to format that in a hanging indent. And on the Home tab, I will click on Paragraph, and so here I am back where I had my 0, 0. But notice under indentation, there's an option for special. And what we want is a hanging indent. 
and I'm just going to go down here and say OK. And you'll notice that what this does is it just um, scoots it over like that. Do not bullet. Do not number. Do not do any of those kinds of things. APA simply wants that hanging indent. Let's say that I um, use another source here, and so I have my author, and then I've got a date, and then I have a, um, let's see, title section. Um, I have my location, then this would be my um, author's name. I'm going to go ahead and cap copy so that we have a little bit of text to look at. When I go down here, this is F. Now this one's not longer. If it was, then it would automatically wrap like that. And so I've got K here, S here. If I came in, I had an author with an A. I could simply go in here and put that author in. You are putting them in alphabetical order. Um, according to whatever is first in their um, in the citation if you had um, if you had something that started with a number say you had an organization that started with one then we would start with numbers and then letters um, and if you're not sure about alphabetizing check out the APA style blog or any of these kind of weird questions that aren't necessarily covered in your book the APA style blog there's a search on there you can search on it and it's really great I will put links in the description so check those out so that is the value of doing that references page just even before you start typing your paper because it allows you to go down there, put that in. And of course, once you've cited a source once, you don't have to come back here. You are simply going to put your author and date and then location, if you have one, in the text of your paper. So that's really it for doing an APA paper. We started out by putting that header in and making sure to click on different first page. Running head, the only thing is capitalized is the R. Our whole title is capitalized here, up to 50 characters. Page number, we just tabbed and we inserted the page number. Make sure that you insert that page number. If you type one, it will say one on every page. Tell the computer, put in the right number. Um, we made sure that we were in Times New Roman and 12. Same thing here with our um, paper, Times New Roman 12. We typed in our title, our name, our school, entered down so I just used the zoom bar down on the right hand side in Word so that I can see the whole page put in that author note, note make sure it doesn't wrap onto the next page um, put in an abstract page if you did not are not required to have an abstract page your next page after your title page would simply be your essay starting right there um, but if you're required to have one put it in don't even have to put any fake letters here. Um, once you're done, come back, summarize it. Mm, 100, 150 to 200, if your teacher has a specific requirement, they will give you that. Keywords, control enter, gives us a new page. Title, in regular title case, and then our paper. And then if you go ahead, once you um, do that title in your title case, and press control enter, then you can put in references. And remember to get the hanging indent, it's simply click on the paragraph call out and you want to do under indentation special. Okay. Um, and then of course don't remember, don't, don't, for, please remember, don't forget to save, save, and save again.